what causes hypertrophy? What causes the muscles to get bigger and stronger? Now, in your opinion, does not diet cause opinion, that? Or is it, is it a certain kind of training that causes that? Yeah. Or is it the certain intensity level of training that causes hypertrophy that? Hypertrophy training. You have to take those fibers, you have to break them down. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, you have to have more protein synthesis than protein breakdown. But I don't care what you do in the gym, how many reps you do, and I don't believe in doing real low reps to gain muscle, first of all, because most people's joints will give out before their muscles do. Um, and the fact that you're not really activating the muscle fibers in a way that's gonna be optimal for, hy for hypertrophy. But at the end of the day, if you have more catabolism than you have anabolism, I don't care how many reps you did, you're not gonna grow. So you have to categorize everything that you do as either an anabolic event in your day or a catabolic event in your day. Examples of catabolic events are fasted cardio. It's a catabolic event. Weight training is a catabolic event. Believe me, it takes you away from your goal temporarily. It's, you're breaking it down. Um, stress is a catabolic event in very your day. Very, very catabolic event. Now, <clears throat> Examples of anabolic events. Nutrition, food coming in. Anabolics, if you're taking them, is anabolic. Sleep is an anabolic event. Taking your supplementation, intra-workout, anabolic event. So if the sum total at the end of the day is in favor of eating anabolism. Dur eating during a seminar. Huh? Anabolic event. Anabolic event. <laughs> catabolic event. Catabolic event. Um, Drinking. At the end of the day, you need more anabolism than catabolism. So you have to pay attention to making sure that, and we talked about recovery earlier, it's huge. But now, I want to um, answer that question on the, on the training side of things. I was always a big proponent, even though I was always a strength athlete, and even when I was a powerlifter, who, you know, most powerlifters you see in the gym now are a lot of one rep guys, three rep guys at most. I was always one of those guys that always did a lot of bodybuilding even after I did my, my strength exercises. So anytime, and you know, some of the people that I train here, you'll know when you see a routine that I've written, strength stuff always comes first, and it's always followed down the line with, with a lot of high rep bodybuilding stuff, because I figure you want to do the best of both worlds. So why not do high rep, low rep heavy stuff and light high rep stuff in the same workout? I don't have a phase where I just do heavy, low rep, and then I do just you know, light, high rep stuff. It's always within the same workout. I think that's why I've gotten the best results from that. Also, as a strength athlete, you always want to do that high rep stuff because it just adds to more conditioning. Plus, it builds muscle. It's more like bodybuilding. And if you can build a bigger muscle, that bigger muscle has the potential to be stronger than a smaller muscle does.